What's going on? Welcome back to the Web Fundamentals Pathway. In this video, we're going to go over the cross-site scripting room. And previously, I have done or uploaded two videos uh, in the context of providing walkthrough for this room. So in this room, you will be learning different techniques about cross-site scripting, the reflected, stored, DOM-based, and lastly, how to bypass cross-site scripting filters. Now, if you click on this room, in total, you will have to finish around uh, starts in task 3 and it ends with task 8. So across the uh, 6 tasks, you will have to uh, demonstrate your knowledge with stored exercises, reflected DOM based and filter evasion. Of course, there are guides with every task to help you perform the challenge. So basically, previously, I have talked about stored and reflected and DOM-based. And if you want, you can visit my videos, Grabbing Cookies with the Stored Cross-Site Scripting. And also you can visit Finding Users Cookies with the Reflected Cross-Site Scripting, which is also was part of CompTIA Pentest Plus Pathway. So in these two videos, I provided walkthrough for these tasks. Now lastly, in this video, I'm going to go over the filter evasion. The filter evasion is... Um, a task that where you will go through techniques to bypass XSS filters. Now before we start, make sure to deploy the machine and make sure to access the machine on the, uh, the web page and go to filter evasion and in here you have the challenges to bypass the XSS filters. Before we go through that, let's um, go over some stuff. So basically in this page Payload all the things, go to uh, XSS injection, and you have cross-site scripting. Also, you can use the uh, port swigger cross-site scripting cheat sheet to help you accomplish this challenge. And actually, you will need, you, you, you cannot uh, memorize all of that. You just need to uh, bookmark the pages and know which technique to use to perform the challenge. So. The first one, bypass the filter that removes any script tags. So here we can't use the regular script alert. All right, well, let me save time. I'm gonna just grab them from my notes. So let's try this one. As you can see, the script tags are filtered and you can't use them. So a way to accomplish this or bypassing the filter tags, uh, the script tag, is to remove them completely and use different tags. An example would be using the image tags. So here I don't use the script tags, I use the image tags. And of course I use alert hello to verify that the payload was successful. I pop up the hello word. If you submit, you get the hello, which is which which, uh, which which shows that the, the payload works. If you click on OK, you will see your flag. Now, if you go to payload all the things, and search for bypass, so as you can see, you have different ways to bypass XSS filters. Let me go down. Okay, filter bypass and exotic payloads. Bypass case sensitive, bypass tag blacklist, bypass world blacklist with code evaluation, and different techniques to bypass XSS filters. You just have to know which one to use depending on the context and depending on the scenario. Um, there is no single answer or there is no single uh, payload that works all the time. Maybe one payload works for different scenarios or maybe you need to try different payloads for one scenario. All right. Next one. The word alert, the word alert is filtered. So you can't use the word alert. If you go now, I'm gonna to go to my notes. So let's see how we can bypass this one.
So here we have we may need to we may need to use uh, the filters with HTML5 to bypass this filter. So basically, we have different techniques to bypass this. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna explain this one. And also, you can find it in payload all the things. Just type uh, auto focus element, which is uh, used in HTML as well. You can use that element to bypass the uh, filter. So this filter here is filtering all of the payloads that contain the word alert. So you can't use the word alert, or you need to obfuscate it. So what I'm going to do is that we use the autofocus. So in here, I combined two uh, techniques together, the onfocus and the video poster. Of course, you can try different things. So here you have the autofocus. You can try any one of them. And then you have to combine other tag with it. You can combine the details, the audio, the video, whatever. All right, so here we have the autofocus. Where is it? And to bypass the filter, we will have to put slash between the autofocus and the onfocus. And then we complete the tag with, or to complete the payload with a video poster element. So, here, autofocus, we have slash, and then we alert one, and then we complete this with the video poster element. Now, if you type or if you submit, you see it didn't work. So, we may need to change how it works. Okay. So, we have bypassed this, and this is the flag for it. Now, the next one, the same thing, or the same uh, concept, but here the word hello is filtered. So, which means if we try this, it's not going to work. There is no hello word that is prompted. Why? Because the hello word is filtered, so we may need to use the object tag. So basically, here, if we try this one, the object tag, to confirm this, so this one is the work. Let's try this one. On error, alert. Or we can, yeah, okay. Does it work? Okay. Let's refresh the page. Yeah, so it worked. So when you have um, words filtered, you have to decide are the words filtered in the payload or are the words filtered after the payload executes. Based on that, you decide which one to use. If you're going out to payload all the things and filter for object, As you can see, you can find all of them here. You just have to craft them. All right, the last one. The last one here, we have many things that are filtered. We have the word hello, which means we cannot uh, pop it uh, up after we execute the payload. We have script tags on error, so we can't use this one. On submit, on load, on mouse over, so we, can, we can't use DOM paste attacks. On focus, on mouse out, on key press, on change. Many things that are filtered. So, as you can see, the challenge for we have a tough filter, right, that prevent us from using different tags in the uh, XSS payload, which means we may need to resort to payloads that use style elements or CSS elements. For that reason, I used this payload. Where is this payload? Okay, here. We use style elements to bypass the filters by manipulating the CSS. How do I find this? Now, if you go to here, so in the cheat sheet provided by um, Portswigger, you can find payloads that use style elements. As you can see, fires when a CSS animation cancels. So these payloads are based on manipulating the CSS on the page to execute the payload uh, and prove that the site is vulnerable to cross-site scripting. Now, if I copy that and um, go to, okay, 
here submit I guess it did the work one more time okay yeah so it worked so this is a this is a short challenge to practice XSS bypass and actually it is very hard to memorize all of the payloads that's why I recommend you to bookmark these two pages uh, payload things list many kinds or different uh, techniques of bypassing XSS filters as you can see there are many techniques using the script inside a string document blacklist email filter all kind of techniques you just have to decide or to know when to use each one of them of course you're going to go about trying every different uh, payload because it's going to take time and most probably you will you will not be able to perform all of these on a production environment or even if you are authorized to perform uh, XSS uh, testing you can't just use all of them okay then protection methods with other and other exploits here are the protection methods as you can see escaping the characters validating input and sanitizing and yeah that was about the room actually if you don't want to go over the videos for the previous uh, tasks you can just get the answers here I'm gonna uh, post the answers on my blog if you want a text-based page so you can get the answer without the need to watch the videos the same for DOM paste XSS. So that marks the end of this room. I'm going to go ahead and terminate the machine. If I go back now and check the progress of the Web Fundamentals pathway, so we finished LFI authenticate XXE in the last video cross site scripting. Now the rest of the rooms are kind of wrap up challenges. So you have the obscure web vulnerabilities. Also, you have here one room about SSRF. Here we have a wrap-up challenge. And lastly, we have two wrap-up challenges as well. Uh, in the fundamentals, I didn't go over the introduction to Django because it is basic and you can just complete the room by reading the tasks. You don't need uh, to deploy. Yeah, there is a CTF here, but actually it's all about learning the basics of Django. Security tools. Perpsuit, OWASP, ZAP also has be, have been done. Yeah, so lastly, we still have three, five rooms to go. And the Web Fundamentals Pathway walkthroughs will be at your disposal. If you want to check out the walkthroughs of other pathways, I have the Cyber Defense you can find in the playlist. Uh, also, Offensive Pen Testing, Compte Pen Test Plus. I also recommend the Pre-Security, which has been released recently. If you are new to cybersecurity, you can just go over this. It teaches the basic of networking, operating systems, and introduction to cybersecurity. And then you go to, you can start with the complete beginner and take one of the pathways as a front of offensive pen test or cyber defense. So that was about today. I hope you liked the video and see you later.